the mediocre ones. Oh, you hear that? If these are the super mutants, I feel bad for the mediocre ones. Next cracking jokes as we do battle. All right, you got me in a positive spirits. Let's gun these fools down. Let's take care of some serious business. You're about to get blasted in the dang skull. Here. Come on. Yes, one more. Just blow his skull right off his head. That'll do it. I think, is that the last one? Is that the last one? I think it might be the last one. You know what, if Nick hadn't, maximum. Automatic what? Pipe rifle, it's a pipe rifle. Okay, I just made myself one of those. What are you? Molotovs, pipes. Okay, uh, Nick, can you handle that, buddy? I'm kinda in the middle of something here. I hear one more. Crouch, crouch, crouch. Bottle cap rounds, I'll take it all. Not eating meat out of a gore sack, though. Definitely not. Not eating Meyer, Meyer Lurk. Not taking anything but ammo and coins, which can be cleanly rinsed off. Um, I already searched your corpse. I already searched this. There's one super mutant left in this hood. I can hear him. There's two. Okay, there's two. 50 cal. And a mongrel. Dog meat. Gonna leave that there. I'm not messing with these fools. Uh, take the rounds. Take, uh, clean off these two. I wonder where those others are. Must be above us. Empty blood sack. See? Take that. Take the stuff you can wash off. This looks like a hotel. These are key hook hangers. Um, yeah, like I said, Nick cracking jokes. If these are super mutants, I'd hate to see the mediocre ones. He's got my spirits up. We're going to finish these fools off. I'm going to clean this building out. Where are you at? Where are you at, idiots? Below. Below. Today. Huh. Well, let's at least check this place out if they're not up here. Cool. Get beds? Nice. Oh, you gotta tell me they're up here. Come on, they're up here. Nick? Nick? You fall through. Oh, game's over. Oh, he found him. He found him. They're outside. Hop down. Okay, get, get in. The, I, I can't get through this damn door. Okay, unlock it fast. Oh, too fast. All right, you're dead, you fools. Yes. Oh, you're going down in glorious style. I'm gonna blow your skull off. Nope, I guess I gotta take one more shot at it. Okay, I'm on fire. Am I still on fire? Oh, Lord, Nikki. What did you walk into? This was some kind of ambush. You got one on either side. How'd you even get out here? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Did you fall through that? You just fall through that hole, end up out here. What are you, a moron? I should have brought pipes. Uh, let's go sleep in the bed that's up there. I don't know why I just took a stim pack. Fine, we'll take the Molotov meat. What's a rack? Oh, for pool balls. All right, well, this dump has been cleared out. No thanks to this moron just leaping out of windows. Yeah, he just jumped out of this thing. Psst, whoop, see you later. Okay, what is it, sunrise, sunset? I can't remember. 
sunset. Hopping down here. Okay. Really? I fell and I'm fine. You're 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 a robot and that hurt you. Shut your damn mouth, Nick. I don't want to hear it. Full of complaints, this guy. Okay, where are we even headed? Why did I even tango with these stupid supers? Oh, we gotta go this way. We gotta go right past their base. I now understand. Do we? Yeah, we do. Oh, that's bad. Good neighbor. Good neighbor. Alright, hopefully that's the only fight we had to get into because look. We're here. Oh, look, and it doesn't look like a total dump. It looks like kind of a town or something. All are welcome. What a wonderful place. I thought it was going to be at like a, a full-on combat zone. I thought Good Neighbor was all I'd ever seen out this direction. I didn't think there was a town here. Okay, guys, let's get into Good Neighbor. Let's, let's see what Dr. Amari has to say. Let's plow through here. A new town. This... Well, well, well. It's the detective. Tracking down another wayward husband to his mistress. Why? Someone stand you up? Oh. You trying that, uh, what do you call it? Evasive language on me? And who are you, huh? Valentine's new dick in training? What did you call me, you son of a bitch? We're hiring. But, uh, I don't think you'd measure up. Don't be like that. Oh, I made a penis joke. You just got joke. the look of someone who's in the market for a little insurance. Am I telling him to back off, or what? You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Huh. Nick, Valentine makes a rare visit to town, and you're hassling his friend here with that extortion crap? Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock? Yeah, I was care? gonna blow this fool's brains no off. For your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. You yeah. soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Oh! Now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Okay, this is All a... Right, brother? This is a rough... Yeah, a very rough neighborhood. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now, don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, until... <laughs> until you get a knife in the gut. I, yeah, feel, I feel you, I bro. Feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Yeah, Hancock's in charge. Hancock and his switchblade are in charge. Nikki V, what the hell just happened in front of me? Lord. Finn is dead. Hey, this guy's got a nice outfit. Excuse me, I just wanted to stop by. Offer my services again. Oh no, you get the hell away from Look at me, this guy Finn. behind I'm not us. Nice you outfit. About Buddy, just so you can snatch him. I'm sorry you feel that way. But if you ever change your mind, I'll be more than happy to help you bring Buddy home. Whoever I'm this listening. Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not All right, Nick. That. Enough of this messing around, so guys. I have been changed the style of this series a little bit. Taking my time more with the episodes, took away the face cam, and made it more about the story and less about the action. Hopefully you guys enjoy, but I don't want to spend all day exploring this town when we've got a memory den to get to. I can't. Brotherhood of Steel better stay out of good neighbor. The good, the good thing is, look, it's right the hell here. Yeah? The memory den. Alright guys, me and Nikki V have fought our way. To good neighbor. We watched old Finn get hey, ganked hey by uh, Hancock, and Nikki V seems to know just about every damn person in town. Hope he knows this doctor. Okay, this is good neighbor. Where you at, Nick? Join me. This is good neighbor, and this is the memory den. It feels like some creepy old lounge. Vodka bottle. Oh, this is all stealing. Nick? Well, well. Oh, 
Mr. Heineck. Oh. I thought you had forgotten about the lonely. Oh, I recognize this a little bit. Again, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Oh, hmm. wow. Nikki's got a love I'm interest. Dare you, you big flirt. The memory den. Who are you? Who are you? Chick with a sexy outfit on. Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's not get too distracted. Nick, where'd you head? Where'd you go? Where's downstairs? These guys look like... These look like the things from the one vault in Fallout 3. I don't know if you guys have played Fallout 3, but there's a vault you go into where this crazy doctor has got people living through fantasies, uh, and you go back in, into, Whatever like, this pre-war... I don't need to know. Why? Leave me... Big metal softy hurt himself, Just be... Right? Cool. Will you shut the hell up? I'm trying... Oh, this was a strip club. Guys, that's what this was. Look at the stage. Look at this stage. Some kind of cabaret burlesque. Because check it. I told you it felt like a club on the way in. Now you got this up on stage. And look behind. If these aren't dressing rooms, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe burlesque is a better... Is it stealing, even if it's jet? I could use some jet right about now. Where? Oh, you're right behind me. Okay, you didn't go ahead this time. Where is Dr... Dr. Amari? Yes. Amari. I take it this isn't a social call. You're the one who can extract memories from a brain. Right? Yes. Normally, we only allow our clients to experience their own memories. Now, what's this all about? We need a deep dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. No, I just walked in here. How would I realize that? I know nothing about this. Uh, should I call her useless? Please. Yeah, no, I won't Nick do it. told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the common. Right, okay, Nick knows how to get this. to her. He knows how to get so her on our we. side. Fine, I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? You mean the brain? Yes, it's right in my pocket. Here's what I could find. <laughs> yes, I nuked him. This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. Yes. A thing attached to it? A neural interface? Something. Yeah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Hmm. Talk Nick's to me about this. Sense. Is he compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If we are lucky, it should hook right in. But even if this works, Mr. Valentine would be taking, taking on a on. tremendous amount of risk. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. Let's do it. Nick, I can do this for you, buddy. We should try plugging you into a toaster next. Mmm, fresh toast. That's nice <laughs> to know Cracking that jokes. When I'm about to have a foreign object shoved into my <laughs> noggin, you find new horrible ways to laugh at my expense. I'm you're ready, sorry. Valentine. I Just thought... If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, hmm. okay? Yeah, I thought that would be funny. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, God, what's she doing? I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be bad. Don't look too closely because it doesn't look like she's doing anything. Stand over here. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. Huh. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. What does that mean? Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we used to? We load huh. both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Oh, God. Oh. Um. Guys. 
I'm not ready for this, Doc. Okay, but I need to keep Mr. Valentine here until you're ready. I don't want him moving around with that implant still attached. Guys, I think I may have to take a break here. I think I may have to end this episode. Geeks, thank you so much for checking this one out. In the next, you will get me inside Nick's brain, inside Kellogg's brain, but that's going to have to wait a couple of days. For those of you that don't know, you will now be getting Fallout episodes every two days, basically three a week until uh, we get to the end of the storyline, along with Don't Starve, a new series that just kicked off. Geeks, thanks for checking it out, and uh, tune in in a couple of days to see what happens inside Nick's brain, inside Kellogg's brain. See y'all in the next one. Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with some Don't Starve. This is a brand new series on the channel. I'm excited. And if you guys don't know, this isn't regular old Don't Starve. This is the new DLC Shipwrecked.